Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video I'm going to go through the Forex market wrap, I'm going to see what happened this week and see what key levels were tested. So starting out on dollar yen, we were looking for the potential for dollar yen to do a couple of different things going into this week. We were looking for the pullback into the key areas and then looking for the long opportunities which worked out really well. Price ended up finding resistance at these previous structure highs in here and uh, this is where we expected some sellers to come back into the market that uh, dropped in through nicely um, in line as well with sort of dollar swiss which is what we are also covered which we'll go on to in a second but um, very familiar to that the market dropped back down into the previous structure support and key level around about 104 50s where we can see the market found numerous support and resistance through here and we've started to see some buys step back in so if you was looking for buys in and around this level that would have done really well for you this week um, and if you also look for the short back to the level that's also done pretty well if i just bring in dollar swiss we can see also dollar swiss worked out really well so what we were discussing again and what we've been really focusing on is looking at the uh, impulse and retracement phases in the market and showing you how you can benefit from trading both the trend direction and the counter trend direction now counter trend trading is a lot more difficult than trend trading however counter trend trading can be pretty efficient as well um, and you can see here we were talking about the potential for dollar swiss to come back and retest this area here the reason why we expected the market to come back to this point was because it created this inverse head and shoulders pattern now this is where a lot of retail markets want to get involved and retail traders want to get involved because what they look for in particular are these types of patterns such as the head and shoulders pattern so i expected price to come back down into this level where we could find some kind of support in here and that's exactly what's played out quite nicely in terms of if we go to the four hour time frame price came up gave a little opportunity to get short on the lower highs in here and has dropped really nicely into this area of support now however don't want to jump on this too much um, the reason being is because it was such a huge retracement we wait we may still get a little bit of downside before we see any further upside here the dollar swiss back at this key support in level we'll look at this going into next week and we'll analyze the strength and weakness of the currencies euro dollar was something that we talked about again at the start of the week we kind of discussed the fact that you could be looking for long opportunities through the week um, they also played out very well i was looking for 121.65 for the area to really be the area we look to short the market however looking at the candlesticks we can see here the market was closing back within the previous candlestick ranges typically when we see that we see a reaction um, the four hour chart is quite interesting though because we've seen the market break through these previous structure lows through here so we could look for potential resistance here the only problem is at the moment although we do have two confirmed closes below this low in here the market's coming back quite quickly which is not something that you'd want to see you'd want to see some kind of uh, slow uh, retracements just like these ones through here okay where the market stops and stalls we don't really have that at the moment it's quite a strong bullish reaction after the market hit these lows just through there um, so we have to be a little bit careful with going short on euro us dollar because we could still see a rally back up into 121.65 before seeing the continuation but euro dollar i still do like downside seeing how this friday candle closes obviously we'll wait to see how monday closes as well and we'll make our uh, predictions going through on uh, the weekend um finally we took a little look at gold um, wanted to see if gold would potentially break to the downside here um, I do still like the idea of selling gold towards this key level around about $1,700 um, now price is kind of stalling around this point and with uh, yields kind of rising as well I do expect maybe a little bit of dollar strength to follow through uh, especially sort of midterm maybe not in the short term you may still get a bit of chop but midterm if those yields keep rising we could still see some dollar strength and seventeen hundred dollars is where I'd be looking for gold to sort of head to next 
Thanks for watching the videos this week. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Um, if you did try any markets, which ones did you try? Um, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll speak to you soon.